Okay, here's... Uh, <laughs> I'm almost scared to introduce it. Hi guys, I am here today with a challenge. I am going to be doing the Breed Out The Weird Challenge. I've already selected my sim, you can see her on the screen already, and she's got some proportions that aren't realistic. So it's kind of like Breed Out Unrealistic. But let's see these exaggerated features. You've got the green lips and the green hair. Two greens that don't match, two greens that don't match. White eyeliner, she's looking like, oh, what's her name, Akachams. She's literally trying to channel that energy. She's got the big ears. And when we go to the side, we've got the big nose, the big head in general, and then the body. Look at those big forearms. People do not have this. These proportions are totally out of whack. And it is our job today to be selecting my hotter sims and matching them up creating babies and seeing if we can do it in five generations so she is generation zero and we'll have a baby baby a baby a baby baby five you know so yeah if you enjoy this video please give a big old subscribe a like and just comment which generation is your favorite because it's going to totally change i can see it happening so here we go We've got almost perfect here. She is a romantic sim, but she's unflirty and she's non-committal and she hates children. So I don't know how they work together. Maybe that's a play on like the whole weirdness of the situation. I like that, I like that. So let's go into the gallery and go into my library and let's try and find some sims that we can breed out the weird with. We are going to first of all pick a man. I think it's gonna be this guy. He is beautiful and I think he's gonna be our, our first victim. So we have got Kent Knup. He is a best-selling author, he's materialistic, he is romantic and he is self-assured and I just think he's beautiful. I made this um I haven't really played with him much but I think he's absolutely beautiful. Let's make a baby with these two and see if we can breed out any of those weirdness. Three um, tries, so one, two, three, and then we'll go on the third one, okay? So, oh, wait. <laughs> Excuse me for a second, I don't even know how to do it properly. <laughs> We're doing a boy. We're gonna go one, two, three, Oh, we've kept the red skin. It's not going to be easy. Their name is going to be Landon. He's going to be a good sim. And he's going to, I'm just going to pick a random trait. Because we're going to age them up. This is what he looks like as a child. He has still got so many features, but I think we've got the chin. I think our man Kent has given us a good chin, which is great. I am very happy about that. Let's age them up to an adult. Okay, I was like, oh my gosh, what? But they have got skin details on and they are in fact red. Let's take off everything and see if we can make this sim. So the chin has gone, the eyes are still there, the nose is still definitely there and I think the ears have got better. They are a tall sim. Um, let's see what we can do to try and add some cool bits and bobs. I don't think I can actually do anything cool to this. Um, it's just doomed for life, but it's fine. We have some long hair to land in. It can just like hide. We might just have to have some glasses and like a big, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him there. There's nothing much I can do with Landon, unfortunately. Right, let's get a new one from the gallery. We're going to put one of my favourite sims. We are going to take our girl here from a Bachelorette. I still need to finish that. We've got Devon Rose here. She is a gorgeous. I love her. However, I do think she's got quite a big nose. I didn't realise that about her, but her nose is 
white like long which is fine but that might not help us with the situation of trying to get them different i don't know but she is so gorgeous this will be our second uh generation we're gonna do it one two three no we were so nearly there we still got the red skin she's an animal enthusiast oh no was it a boy okay let's just turn it into a girl that's fine it's gonna be the same features but just in a girl version they're called charlene 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 i think we might have fixed the nose situation i don't know i don't know i don't know but the eyes are still there the eyes are still there. This is what child Charlene looks like. And let's age them up into a young adult. Very tall vibes. No, the nose is still there. The lips are cute. The chin is cute. The eyes and the nose need to be sorted for this sim to actually... <sighs> are we ever going to get there? I don't know. The pupils are so small. The pupils are so small. Let's have her mum's hair because it kind of hides most of her face. Let's do like a cute pink colour. You don't look like this. Let's just add some lashes on. I'm just going to smack any old accessory on and hopefully it will look good. <laughs> oh, babe. I'm going to just change trousers. I want her to have a personality that's like a doctor. She's like an evil scientist. Right, Charlene, Charlene. Let's find a new boy to like add to the mix. Let's get Kurtz. This is Kurtz. Kian Kurtz. Beautiful, beautiful sim. He creates children like Christy. Gorgeous. Kent. Another Kent. Lol. And Kara. They're adorable babies. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna fingers cross and pray that the weirdness is gonna be um, taken out. So we're gonna have a boy. One. Two. There's the red, so hopefully the next one won't be red. Three. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. We have taken the redness out, I think, unless it's a skin overlay, which I'm scared of. This is Herman. He is a slob. Nice, you haven't got the amazing character. No, the nose is still there, I can see it. Let's make you into a young adult. Herman. But Kian, I think, has really solved a lot of the issues. Herman's got Kian's eyes. And that is a really a main, main thing that's kind of doing it. So it's just the nose that we need to sort out. And apart from that, I think we're nearly there with breeding out the weird. Maybe we could do an overlay. Can an overlay save the nose? No, it can't. Cool. I think I might keep it like this. He's a little bit of a slob. He's a little bit scruffy. Not with that hair color. That was a weird hair tone. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Just need to find a strong female next, which is going to. Oh my god, let's just check the body. <gasps> he is so skinny and ripped. Uh, he's really skinny and not ripped at all. How did he get so skinny? Wait, go back. That was definitely not her. She was. Oh, she was. So we haven't we haven't sorted out the body yet. Look at those hands, they're so abnormal. <sighs> we need someone that's gonna sort out the body. <sighs> I don't know if we're going to. Herman here, just living his own life. So we're gonna say goodbye to Kian. Kian, thank you for giving your eyes. You're cute. We need to find someone from the gallery who is going to give us some Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous features. I think it's gonna be our girl Tessa. Her eyes are really big though. But look at that cute little nose. She is gorgeous. So come on, Tessa. You can do this. A daughter. And we're going to randomize. One. 
two, three. All my children um, age up with that weird blush, so I ex excuse them. This is our girl, Jamie. Oh my God, I think the nose is fixed. I think the nose is fixed. I think we've done it. So we're on generation one, two, three. She is generation four. And I think we've done it. Young adult. Maybe the body as well. Don't stop. Oh my gosh, I think she's gorgeous. Let's take this off and let's just see if we sorted the body out. We have sorted the body out as well. Oh my God, Tessa is our angel. Tessa, she, she can fix anything and everything. This is Jamie. She's looking cute. She's looking cute. Let's put some skin details on. She's got her mum's nose for sure. Um, excuse me, who is this girl? And I think she's downright gorgeous. I think she's like a clone of her mum though. So Tessa's really gone out there and just shone a light on um, the sim world and was like, hold, hold my pen, hold my pencil. Let me just write down every single ingredient that makes me and then just put that into the sim and then you've got a beautiful looking sim and that is true girl, that is true and here we are representing that. Sorry, I'm just really, I'm just really blown away by how pretty she is. I think I'm just going to give her this. No. Look, gorgeous, gorgeous girls wear gorgeous, gorgeous flowers in their gorgeous, gorgeous hair. How cute. Jamie is a slob. She got the slob trait from, I don't know who she got that from. Yeah, she got the slob trait from her dad. She's a loner and she's childish, but she's absolutely stunning and we love that for us. Thank you, Tessa, for just giving us all that. We're gonna add one more sim for my library and we are going to add this guy. He hasn't got any CC on but he is a hot snack. Here's Koa. And we are gonna add him. We're gonna do it three times. One, two, three. And here is our last sim. His name is Augustus Cute. We are gonna say goodbye to Koa. Hi Koa. Let's see if you've done anything. And we add our Augustus up. He looks decent, guys. He looks decent. Let's just put some skin details on already. Take off the hair. Maybe we've gone backwards. Oh my god, maybe we've gone backwards. Don't tell me we have. I don't know if I like him. Oh my god, look at that chin. It's just too much of a chin. His nose is too tiny. Maybe I don't like him. Can we fix this? I don't know, but I'm not digging it. I'm not having a good time. I'm not chilling and I'm not vibing. I'm actually kind of cry, 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 crying. I don't know if that was the right thing of adding Koa. If I move that in a bit. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't, sorry. <laughs> if I just pick this hair and then have it all over his face, then it doesn't matter, does it? And it basically means we have done the challenge and it's been absolutely fine and we've had no wobbles and we're loving life, we're living it. Okay, cool. We're sticking like this. Oh. Augustus, why did you have to fail us? Love these trousers. They've really been upping their game with like just content. Okay, here's... Oh. <laughs> I'm always scared to introduce him. Here is Augustus. He is our last sim of our breed out the weird. Let's go through what happened. So here's almost, and then here's a sun Landon. Very tall boy. I wish we kept the height, but here's Landon. We kind of tried to obscure his face a little bit. 
Here's Charlene. She's like a mastermind criminal scientist in the lab. So some things have gone a little bit wrong, you know, but she's loving life. Here's her son, her man. This is where we started to like obviously forget about the red and red skin. But we still have got this body where he is just like a skinny legend over here. A little bit too much of a skinny legend because I would not want to be that skinny. But he's he's a gamer boy, you know? And then with her man, we got this lovely Janae. She's gorgeous. She's literally a carbon copy of her mum. And this is where I think we should have finished because she is absolutely stunning. Oh, is he cute? I don't know, but this is Augustus. This is This is Augustus. And this is our last sim in Breed Out the Weird. He gives me Labrador vibes, which is fine. We have bred out the weird. We have bred out the weird and we have done it and it's been absolutely fine. But yeah, I love these sims. I love this challenge, just seeing all the randomness of it. And thank you for watching this video. We've got these two here just hanging out love it i just don't know what it is i think his nose is way too small if we brought it out a little bit but yeah thank you so so much for watching this video i had such a good time just having a laugh playing with sims love cc and i love Cass so much so this was a great little um interlude instead of like just playing rags to riches um which the video is having an absolute shrug at the moment trying to get done but yeah Thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely day. Okay, see you later. Bye.